We're out in the field with our GEM 2000 and our calibration gas canisters. Start by turning on the GEM. The unit will perform a self-test, which includes running the pump briefly. If everything is okay, you'll see the message self-test completed and be taken to the reading screen. Press 1 to bring up the menu. Use the arrow keys to scroll down to field calibration, then press enter and you'll be taken to the check calibration screen. You have to tell the gem what gas concentrations you're using. Do this by pressing 3 edit target concentrations. You'll see question X.X point X under CH4, which means it wants you to enter the methane concentration. Read this value from the canister label. We're using 5035, which is 50% methane. Enter this as 500. Press enter and you'll be prompted for a CO2 value. This is 35%, so enter 350 and press enter. Finally, you're prompted for an oxygen value. We're using 4% O2. Enter this as 040, then press enter. Now that you've entered the gas concentrations, it's time to start calibrating. We're going to start by zeroing out the oxygen. To zero oxygen, we need a gas that has 0% oxygen, so we can use the 5035 gas. Attach the canister to the inlet port, making sure it clicks. Open the valve to start the gas flow, then watch the readings. When the values are stable, which takes about 30 seconds or so, press enter and you'll see this menu. Zero channels is at the top of the menu, so just press enter. Scroll to 002 on the submenu and press enter. Close the valve on the canister, then disconnect the hose from the gem. To zero methane and CO2, we need a gas with 0% of these two, so we can use the 4% oxygen. Connect the 4% oxygen canister to the inlet port and open the valve. When the readings are stable, press enter, then enter again to select zero channels, then enter one more time to zero CH4. Close the valve and disconnect the gas. Now we've set the zero values for the three channels we're using, so it's time to set the spans. Reconnect the 5035 canister, open the valve, and watch the readings. Once they're stable, press enter to bring up the menu. Scroll down to span channels and press enter. Then press enter to span the CH4. We can also span the CO2 now, so press enter again to get the menu. Scroll to span channels, press enter, scroll to span CO2 on the submenu, and press enter again. Now close the valve on the canister and disconnect the hose. Reconnect the 4% OT canister and open the valve. Wait for stable readings, then span the O2. Close the valve and disconnect the hose. Your GEM 2000 is calibrated and ready to use.